Just over three years ago, one of my friends, Elise, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer stage four. Survival rate, nine months. She was lucky and we were fortunate and blessed that she found a doctor in Louisville, Dr. Martin, who began her treatments. She is now in remission. Dr. Martin, what's going on in Louisville that is getting such great results? Well, we're, we, it, it's a collaborative effort, so I, I can't say it's just all been here at the University of Louisville, but it has been a collaborative effort, specifically around recent data that we just published and presented in San Diego last Thursday. And the key focus of that is that what we've been able to demonstrate that was with the use of IRE or the nano knife on top of standard of care chemo and chemo radiation therapy, we've been actually able to double the overall survival when you compare that to standard of care in stage three pancreatic cancer. And doctor, what is it about this cancer that makes it so deadly? Again, great question. I think there are two reasons why. First is, is that um, of the 17,000 patients that are diagnosed each year, there really are no early warning signs. A lot of them are vague signs, which means that we're diagnosing a lot of patients with pancreatic cancer at a late stage. However, what we believe we've demonstrated with this study of, uh, uh, is that that 17,000 do, do have a reason for hope. With the use of IRE and its method of action of essentially electrocuting the cells, and what that does is that instills a permanent doorway into the cell that allows electrolytes, specifically calcium, to go into the cell, which induces autoprogrammed cell death, such that the cancer cell dies, but we don't damage the vital structures. And so with that, we have been able to augment chemotherapy and chemoradiation therapy and truly extend that overall survival time. Now, doctor, in her diagnosis, I know that the cancer wrapped itself around the vital arteries. What made her case so complicated? It's just that. It's the key, th key thing that makes all stage three pancreatic cancer complicated is that it's wrapped around vital arteries. I think that's really the key um, description. And what I mean by vital, it's vital arteries that either supply blood supply to the liver or supply blood, blood supply to our intestines which means if we remove those vital structures, there are significant, significant complications and risk to doing that. And so what the IRE or nano IF allows us to do is it allows us to treat that cancer without destroying those vital structures, thus getting the benefit of safety, but most importantly, the enhanced efficacy measured by increase in quality of lifetime. Elise, it's such a joy to see you. Uh, we can't wait to have you back here in Atlanta, but thank you for doing this interview with us and uh, just so happy about your remission. But can you take us back when you heard the words, you have nine months to live? I, you know, I, I think you, you, you get those words and you're just dumbfounded. You just, like, this clearly is a nightmare and you're looking around like, he must not be talking to me. But, you know, I got that and really for me, as you know, I've, I've got two boys and they're nine and 11 now at the time they were kindergarten and second grade. Um, I have a great husband. And so it was just, there was no other choice but to fight. And, uh, you know, I think you just kind of, you got to do what you got to do and, and go with it. And I will tell you through that journey, there was way more blessings and way more positive things than negative things. Um, you know, you really got to see the love of people and just people were fighting for you and my family was amazing. Um, and, and I think I would tell you this, when you, if anyone were to get this diagnosis or any, any cancer diagnosis that it's so important to seek extra second, third, fourth opinions, um, have someone as your medical advocate. My sister did that for me. Uh, it, it's, it's really, it's just so important that you don't take one doctor's word that you're going to die. I went to a very prestigious hospital and I was, I was told, you know, that I wouldn't even survive the chemo and that at the end of the day I was going to die anyways. So, um, you got to find that doctor willing to fight for you. I think that was just crucial. Well, we are certainly glad you found Dr. Martin. We are so grateful for the great work you and your team are doing in Louisville. 
But uh, Elise, I know you work for this cool company called Hard Rock, and there were so many fundraisers along the way. Uh, what's it like being part of a company like that? <laughs> they, I mean, honestly, they were amazing. So one of, one of the mottos is love all, serve all. And, um, you know, for, for such a big company and uh, so a global company, I would get letters. I would um, have other cafes all around the world do fundraising things for us. And it was just, it was amazing. And, um, you know, I was probably one of those crazy people that still worked going through chemo, but I was so thankful that I got to work because really who wants to just sit around and think about, oh, I have cancer. So they still let me work. They were fantastic. And so thankful that um, I'm able to pay it back and work super hard for him now. <laughs> well, we are super happy that you have this great family, friends, and support, and the family at Hard Rock included. We salute them for uh, standing beside you. So when you get back to Atlanta, let's share one of their all-American hamburgers together. Elise, thanks for being with us, and Doctor, thank you for your tremendous work. Thank, thank you. you.